Out of the Big 12 Conference, the gold clad ears have taken the field as they do battle against the Virginia Tech Hokies. Once he gets on base, he'll run quite a bit. 22 steals and 27 tries. And he goes on the first pitch, which is a strike. And he's got the bag. A low throw from catcher Webb. Man, West Virginia in business with a runner in scoring position first inning. When you're a second round pick and the signing bonus is pretty impressive, you don't stay for your senior year in college baseball. You go ahead and make the jump. One, two to Hill. That's a fair ball inside the first base bag. Good speed on the bases for West Virginia. Zarbniski in and White all the way around from first as Hill doubles in a pair. West Virginia, a 2 nothing lead over the Hokies here in the first inning. 709 slugging percentage is tops in the league. That ranks 11th nationally for the Blanco Texas native, who a year ago was West Virginia's leadoff man, number five hitter. And has a chance to put West Virginia up three in the first. Here comes Hill to score. It's a 23-game hitting streak for Kyle Gray. What an exciting player he's been. Important player that he's been for West Virginia. How many runs has he saved? Well, he might have driven in a few. Unable to get to it. Mangrum. Galuski, Zarbniski, both scoring on the blue face hit to right. West Virginia in the lead. Five to nothing here in the second. All year, they have situationally hit about as good as you can ask. 289 is a team. Will this get through? Owens gloves it, but he has no play. West Virginia up 6 to nothing. He drives in his 27th, and worth a smile, Jimmy Galuski knows that well, some RBIs are really hard to come by. That one of the easier ones. Top of the order, bases loaded, one out, already up 6 to nothing. Really have a chance to... Blew this thing wide open. Another high chopper for Gale. Misses this. And he's going to get the out as he somehow simultaneously fielded the ball with his foot on the bag. And but a run is in. It's 7 to nothing, West Virginia. Yes, those, that play card on the belt, that was a good look. We saw right there. Unable to get to it, Galuski and Gray up the middle. The shortstop and second baseman, respectively, and a run will come in for Virginia Tech. Nick Owens looked at a cold third strike against Christian Young. Three and a third, two hits, one run allowed. He struck out four. Now this batter is plunked. Nick Owens is hit, and that'll bring the second run home for Virginia Tech. So Steve Mangrum, right fielder, a little pop in the bat with six homers. Off the mound, but could be two. Gray can't handle it cleanly, and he has no play. Hit off the right side of the mound. It's 7-3. to three. West Virginia, eight of the nine in the WVU batting order have reached base against Virginia Tech. Trying to expand the four-run lead, they will. Inman drives in his 38th of the year. Good opposite field, single to right field. And a comebacker to Tristan Hudson, the second pitcher of the evening to work. West Virginia has used four tonight. Deep breath, Ennis, and the 0-2. Brown ball back to the pitcher off the leg of Ennis. Galuski, a play as a run scores. Two outs, RBI ground out for Andrew Webb. Up to third goes Owens as Fernandez crosses with the game's fourth run for Virginia Tech. Truly the love of the game here at this level, and that's what makes it fun. They'll get a run home with the push bunt. The RBI ground out as it goes. Scores Monday, and all right, it's a three-run game. Over the head of the third baseman, Fernandez. One run scores, Gray follows. Two-run single, bouncing over the head of third baseman Fernandez. West Virginia 10, and Virginia Tech 5 in the eighth inning. Gonzalez gets two RBIs as the Mountaineers score two. This is the ninth outing for Manoa in relief. He's only given up five runs on two different occasions. This should do it. Guluski's got it. Tumbles to the ground, but why not? This was one that could wear you out, a tiring midweek game.